Hey. What's going on? Penny just updated her status. She says she's getting ready for the big show. What big show? Jewelbot, give me Penny. Hey, Penny. Hey, you guys. What is that thing? I put pureed raspberries in this everyday vanilla pudding volcano. Add a little club soda and make it bubble. And it's raspberry pureed lava. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that ooze. Delicious. You wouldn't need any help with that, would you? I wouldn't want it to go to waste. <laughs> Forget it. I'm taking this show on the road, baby. All the science fairs. I'm the champion of ooze. See ya. Wow, that was awe. I mean, ooze inspiring. I wonder which foods have the most ooze. Let's have a competition. Pit ooze against ooze. The ooze Olympics. The race to be the slowest. Today on Taste Buds, we're looking at foods that ooze. Mmm, chocolate. I'm making delicious melt-in-your-mouth molten lava cake. Mmm. I'm getting the buzz on honey at a bee farm. And we make winning stuffed pizzas. Whoa. Have you heard the news? We've got foods that ooze. Taste buds. We love to cook and we love to eat. We are the taste buds. We can be beat. We're in the kitchen and update. Lily is wondering what ooze she should choose for the Ooze Olympics. Ooze Olympics? Yeah, it's the race to be the slowest. I'm looking for the food with the most ooze. Well, you know, you can make just about any food ooze by stuffing it with other stuff. Oh, like a saucy burger? Yeah, or a peanut butter and honey sandwich. Ooh, I'm gonna make one right now. <laughs> or not. That's it! Honey, it's the perfect Ooze Olympian. Thanks, Matt. Hey, guys. I think I've got a contender for the Ooze Olympics. I'm about to make an oozy chocolate cake. Don't say I didn't warn you. Sorry, I lost you after chocolate. <laughs> I'll try to save you some. Hi, I'm Avery. Hi, I'm Dufflet. Are you ready to make molten lava chocolate cake with melted truffle filling? <laughs> ready? I'm so happy I could... Um, never mind. Let's go. Okay. So molten chocolate lava cake, where do we start? Well, the first thing we're going to do is make our truffles because that has to freeze before we put them in the middle. What we're going to do is get our cream and we're going to pour it over our chocolate and you're going to stir it up. So we'll mix that up. And we're going to add a little bit of vanilla slowly melting together, yeah. all the little pieces of chocolate yeah. becoming one yes. giant delicious piece of chocolate. Yes. Mm -hmm. Chocolate. So we're going to put that into the fridge so that it gets nice and cold so we can make our truffle balls. Cool. So I made some earlier. It should be nice and cold and ready. Cool fridge. And we want to make eight balls. Sweet. Now the reason that you have to have it frozen is because this is what's going to make this a lava cake. And what's the best part of all this? That's good. So now our balls have to go back into the freezer. Okay. All we have to do is wait for those to freeze. So what should we do in the meantime? I don't know. What do you think? Hmm. That was fun. How do we make the cake? Well, the first thing we have to do is we're going to take our chocolate and our butter and we're going to melt them over some simmering water. Hot water can hurt. Get a grown-up. Mm-hmm. Look at that melt. There it goes. Now we're going to let that cool. So we're going to do four eggs separated, so we're only going to use the yolks. Bring it back and forth in your shell. Egg separating technique? Yes, using the shell. It makes a natural egg separator, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's perfectly designed. Yes. Who would have ever thought of that? And only three more to go. Perfect. All right. Now four full eggs. On to the full eggs. Sometimes they don't cooperate. <laughs> yeah. And start whisking. 
And then we're gonna slowly add the sugar. You don't wanna just put all your sugar in at once and you don't wanna just leave it with the sugar on it because it'll burn your eggs. Now I need to see a little bit of muscle because this has gotta get very thick and fluffy. This is the only thing that's gonna make our cake rise. Nice and fluffy. Okay, keep whisking. Ooh. Okay, I've got an idea. Mixers can hurt. Get a grown-up. You see they're getting lighter in color. As they get thicker, that's what we're looking for. Okay, next we're gonna fold in our chocolate and butter mixture yes. by hand. I now know what true beauty is. It's melted chocolate. Okay, now we're gonna fold that together. Take the flour and add it to your mix. It's getting a lot thicker. That's looking really good. Okay, let's get our truffles from the freezer. All right. Truffles are nice and hard now. Yeah, and we're gonna roll these into balls. Just give them a press, just like that. That's perfect. Hold it up. Perfect. Try it with this one. I buttered these ramekins ahead of time, and I'm gonna put a piece of parchment paper at the bottom just so our molten cake won't stick. Now, we're gonna scoop in our batter. All right. And use your scoop. There you go. That looks good. Practice makes perfect. By the eighth one, you'll have it perfect. Great. Okay, so next, we're just gonna take our truffles and put them in the center of each. Pop it in the middle? Yeah, just in the center, just like that. It's gonna be encased with the cake. And now we're gonna to top each one with the remaining batter. This is gonna win the Youth Olympics, no problem. Awesome. And now we're ready for the oven. Okay, I preheated the oven. Thank you. Ovens are hot, get a grown up. And we're gonna bake for about 22 to 25 minutes. So what should we do now? Hey, Lily. Did you eat all the cake already? We're just about to eat it now. I'm totally gonna win gold in the Youth Olympics. Save it for the race. I'm going to a bee farm to see an expert on honey. And you're gonna get a refill too, right? Sure, Matt. Thanks, you're a peach. I gotta go. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Would you like to have some fruit sauce on that? Let's, yes, uh, let's do that. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mmm. That is excellent. The cake's nice and firm on the outside. The chocolate sauce is really oozy on the inside. And the fruit sauce really adds an extra ooze, too. Jeff Flett, thanks for teaching me how to make this explosively delicious molten lava cake. You're very welcome, and come back and we'll make something else again soon. Yes. Chocolate cake with an oozy chocolate center? Do I have to spell it out? Make your own molten chocolate lava cake. All the ingredients you need are right here. Or visit tastebudstv.com and check out all our delicious recipes. Status update. Avery is melting for molten lava cake. I had no idea you could make that. That is delicious ooze. Mom, can we make molten chocolate lava cake, please? Hey, Jasmine. Hey, Lily. Where are you? I'm on my way to a bee farm to learn more about honey, which, by the way, will totally get me gold in the Ooze Olympics. Ooh, I have a contender for you. What is it? Baby food. When it comes to ooze, this stuff is the slowest. That's great, but where did you get baby food from? Oh, I was at a babysitting class last night. And seriously, like, this stuff is amazing. I really like it. I've been eating it all day, and seriously, like... There's none left. <laughs> Uh, I'll talk to you later. <sighs> Hi, I'm Lily. Hello, I'm Ian the beekeeper. So, what's it like to have a bee farm? It's fun. You get to see the bees' benefits. They uh, pollinate all these beautiful flowers around here and produce some really fine honey. And I like bees. You like bees? Don't they sting you and stuff? Yeah, and I got stung a couple of times today. So, <laughs> so I'm going to give you a bee suit to wear while we have a look at the bees. Thank you. Bees can sting. Be careful. 
Let's see if we can find some honey. Cool. And we'll have a look at the bees when we're in there too. Seems like a couple of them want to inspect to see who I am. Yes, they all want to check us out. I'm feeling very glad that I have this bee suit on. How much honey do you get? Um, on average, a good colony like this will produce me a jar of honey a week through the summer. A cool fact I learned, bees make honey by sucking the sweet juices or nectar from the flowers and then carry it back to the hive. When they get there, they give it to some other bees that process it and spit it out into the honeycombs. Then it ripens and turns into honey. This is all honey underneath here. So this is all ripe, so if I break it, it's fresh honey in there. Ooh. See the bees licking it up straight away? I've heard a lot about the queen bee. Can I see her? There she is. She's right in the center here. Can you find her? She's a little bit She's shy. A, yeah, she is. Oh. See the long abdomen on her? Yeah. She lays 1,000 to 2,000 eggs a day in the summer. So she's like a mother to almost all of these bees. Wow. Should I bow to her? If you want. <laughs> she's checking that cell by putting her head in. And you may see her once in a while turn around and put her abdomen into a cell, and then she'll lay an egg. Do you think I should put the queen back inside? Probably, yeah. We don't want to keep these bees open for too long. No, we want to let them do their job. They're pretty nice, considering we took their house apart. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. I just saw Avery's status update. Molten lava cake, that will be a good contender for the Ooze Olympics. But he skipped right to dessert. I've got the main course right here. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Ow. Ooh. A bronze for effort. A bronze? Keep cruising. Ha <laughs> I get it. Cruise. Ooze. And there's mood. All right, so what do we do with these? We're going to extract the honey out of the honey frame. This is like taking the lid off a honey jar. Ooh, very small honey jars. Yes, it's a bee-sized honey jars. <laughs> Look at that ooze. It's really soft to touch. Can I try some? Sure you can. It's your honey. Ooh. <laughs> this tastes really good. OK, let's put our frames into the extractor. We'll put it in a centrifuge, and it will spin the honey out the frame. Now we're going to spin the handle and watch the honey extract out the frame. Whoa! Flies right out. Flies right out. This is sure to win the Ooze Olympics. OK, I think we're good there. Oh, there's some on the end. I guess I'll just have to clean that. Mmm. This is the best honey I've ever had. It's so fresh. Good. And if you keep bees, you can have fresh honey every day. Give my thanks to the queen, and thanks for giving me the buzz on bees, Ian. You're welcome, Lily. Welcome back anytime. For the Foos That Ooze semifinals, contestants, are you ready? Name me five things that ooze. <laughs> Avery. Uh, molten chocolate lava, melted cheese, applesauce, uh, chili. I got this, I got this. Ah, nuts. I'm sorry. Nuts do not ooze. Lily, if you can name me six things that ooze, you can sweep the points and win the round. Go. I got it. Ketchup. Uh, relish. Oatmeal. The yolk and soft boiled eggs. Um, honey and stuffed pizzas. We have a winner and a great suggestion for the Foods That Ooze final challenge. Stuffed pizzas. What? But what about my molten lava cake? And, and what about my honey? I face bees for that honey. Bees! Well, your bravery will always be remembered, but we need to even the playing field. Avery, do the cookbook. OK, well. I'm gonna make Avery's Tomidio's pizza. Well, Lily, you're up against some serious competition. Well, then I'll just have to make Lily's Oozy Veggie Triple Cheese Stuffed Pizza. Ooh! So it's a veggie pizza versus the meaty pizza. Let the games begin. <laughs> I 
I'm preheating the oven, and then it's stuffing time. Now the cool thing about these two recipes is that you're both finding new and exciting uses for leftovers. Yep, it makes them taste new again. And because they're already cooked, it's easier too. Well, my recipe calls for a lot of cheese, so I'm gonna start grating now. Graters are sharp. Get a grown-up. All right, so my recipe calls for some tomato sauce. All right, tomato sauce. Splash. And then some tomato paste. Tomato paste. A little bit thicker. Loop it in there. Chopped garlic. Chopped garlic. Your favorite. Oh yeah. yeah. It goes awesome in every recipe, except maybe dessert. <laughs> and some dried oregano. Dried oregano, oh, how it just flakes in there. It smells great. And then, a little stir. Just a quick little stir. And, oh, good. you're done, that's that good. was quick. All right, now it's time for the leftover. All right. Whoa, it's an avalanche of meatballs. <laughs> some mini meatballs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And some cooked red peppers. Nice. Some cooked capiscum. It's capiscum. Red pepper. Oh, cool. And some cooked onions. <gasps> I love cooked onions. And now what you're missing, like every pizza needs, is some mozzarella cheese. And I'm noticing that Lily over there has a whole heap of mozzarella. You should totally take some. No, Avery, don't do it. It's completely unsportsmanlike. But look how many shreds of mozzarella there are. She can't. Want some cheese? Thanks. <laughs> and the cheese torch has been passed as the mozzarella gets placed in the bowl. And now it's time to stir. <laughs> Lily, an amazing display of generosity. I'm just getting into this ooze Olympic spirit. But I came here to win. Aha, victory the most delicious fruit. All right, so for my recipe, I need three cheeses. Woo, ricotta cheese. I think that might be my favorite. I need some grated Parmesan cheese. I, I can do that. I bet you think I don't have a song for it, but you'd be wrong. Parma, 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 Parmesan. Parma, 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 Parmesan. Parma, Parma, wicka, 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 Parma, Parma, Parma. And next, the mozzarella. <gasps> Will Avery pass the cheese torch back? Here you go. And he does! The cheese torch has been passed. What excitement! What thrill! Thanks, Avery. All right. Who's Olympic finalist? How about we do a recipe roll call? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so first we need chopped garlic. Chopped garlic going in. Now, fresh basil. Let's rip it up like that. And then you need some nutmeg. Nutmeg. Done. And some hot pepper flakes. Hot pepper flakes. Hey, I wanted to say hot pepper flakes. Oh, um, well, you can uh, put the salt and pepper in. Good for me. Salt. And some pepper. Pepper dance. All right. Time to add the leftovers. All right, leftovers. Some broccoli florets, and that adds some nice color. And then some sauteed mushrooms. Ooh, sauteed mushrooms. And I like lots of veggies, so I'm gonna put a oh, lot in. Oh, that's looking amazing. Avery, take a look at that. Whoa. And now, it's time to... Aren't we forgetting something? Forgetting something. Dough! Dough. Dough? Whole wheat dough. <laughs> and it's synchronized rolling. A ooze Olympic favorite. While you guys are doing that, I'm gonna get started on something called an egg wash, which is really gonna help seal the stuffed pizza. It's really simple. All you need is an egg and some water. And then you mix it all up. All right. Here, let me brush your dough with some egg wash. Here. Time to add the stuffing. Let's seal the deal. The trick is to make one big fold. And then lots of little folds like this. 
I'm just gonna hit this baking tray with a little bit of cornmeal. Oh, so the pizzas don't stick to the baking tray. This is a pretty ooze-inspiring moment. <laughs> One could say it's a little corny. Now, another little added touch. Take this knife, why don't you cut some vents into them? That's gonna help the steam escape from the stuffed pizzas. Knives are sharp. Get a grown-up. So, we can put them in the oven now? Not yet. Now I just need Lily to brush them with a little bit of the egg wash. Sure thing. This is gonna make the stuffed pizzas really crispy and golden brown when we pop it into the oven. The work of an artist with that brush you are. Thank you, Matt. And now we can put it into the oven. Ovens are hot. Get a grown up. I'll go notify the taste buddies. They'll wanna see my stuffed pizza winning. Sure. I think the gold medal is as good as mine. Okay. Oh. All right, let's taste them. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh oozy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Really that is good. good. Well, Avery, you're certainly ooze the most. So, does that mean I won? Yep, you won the Ooze Lip Fix Challenge. Yeah! yeah! Oh, yeah! But you guys both won the gold when it comes to taste. I'll go with that. So I'm inviting you all to dinner tomorrow night. Wicked. It's about time. So what's the occasion? Well, I made another edible volcano. Uh, what did you put in this one? Oatmeal, mayonnaise, relish, honey. It's really good. It's kind of like a oatmeal burger pudding. Oh, stop the mayonnaise. Oh. Oh. I'm so looking forward to that. <laughs> What are you waiting for? Hold your own Ooze Olympics competition and start by making these delicious stuffed pizzas. All the ingredients you need are right here. Or visit tastebudstv.com and check out all our recipes. Status update. The Taste Buds are... Gold Medal Ooze Olympian. Next event, gymnastics. Oh, such balance and grace. The judges give that a 10.